We are joined on the phone right now by Kyle Brady, former Big Ten Network analyst, also, of course, a member of the Rose Bowl team for Penn State in 1994, undefeated team, uh, had a great career in the NFL, pursuing a law degree right now. Kyle, we appreciate you taking some time out to join us. What's your reaction to everything you've heard today? Well, obviously, it's a very sad day for everyone involved in Penn State and really college sports in general. Uh, the thing that really got me in reading the report about what Mr. Emmert said was that um, the athletic culture and the football culture needed to uh, be completely overhauled, so to speak, at Penn State. And uh, although obviously anyone who experienced the last 11, 12 months as a Penn Stater and read and saw everything that went on understands that there are significant things, no doubt, that need to be overhauled there. As a former player, just speaking from my perspective and, and how sad it is today for all the guys who are current players who had no role in this. I can tell you that uh, Joe Paterno and the things he taught us when we were there, I mean, you know, when, when you hear something like there's an athletic coach that needs to be overhauled, it makes it sound as if the players are going around with an arrogance and a snobbery about themselves and about their place in, on the college campus. And I can tell you that that is completely antithetical to the way Joe Paterno taught us to think of ourselves and behave on the college campus. When we were freshmen at Penn State, we lived in regular college dorms with everybody. And he did that intentionally to teach us that you're no different than anyone. Just because you play college football here, you're, he wanted us to get involved in everything, to get involved in you know, things outside of the, of the game of football. That was what he was all about. And um, I, I do believe that, obviously, he was given a greater measure of authority in pursuing justice on behalf of these young people than he ought to have been. And, and that's certainly something that needed to be overhauled and you know, done differently throughout the course of this. But it's just very difficult as a former player to hear that type of turn terminology thrown around because it makes it sound as if you, know, you had a situation at Penn State where the players are walking around as thugs and, and you know, similar to the movie The Program where you're walking around and, you know, you, you really are just a football player that happens to be on a college campus, which was completely opposite of the way we were really bred to understand ourselves. Right. Clearly not an indictment of the players, Kyle. This was an indictment of the leadership. And I think what I'm hearing from you, it's difficult to reconcile that with the Joe Paterno that you knew and that you played for, that, that these failings are, as you said, antithetical with kind of what he stood for. How do you begin to reconcile that? Yeah, I guess that's just, you know, partly an initial reaction, partly based on emotion sometimes of the, the terminology that's used. And unfortunately, as you know, Dave, people tend to blanket. You know, when they see those statements, they tend to blanket the entire program underneath those statements and tend to take it all as a whole and just believe that, Everyone was renegades. Everyone was living outside the law and handling things the way they saw fit, as opposed to how the criminal law system and due process should have handled it. Um, and that's just an unfortunate reality of the current way people operate in, in the soundbite generation. But, um, yeah, it's going to take a long time for all of us to process this, to get over and, and fit it into our understanding of our Penn State experience in light of all we were taught and uh, the fact that it is so antithetical to everything we were raised in that culture as we knew it to, uh, to value. And it's, you know, a very strong example, powerful example of how one misjudgment at the end of your career, and I'm sure Joe would admit himself he wasn't a person that claimed to be perfect. He would admit he had many failures, as we all do as human beings. But um, it's just as a powerful example how one an instance of poor, very poor judgment over the course of a few years and how to pursue making something right can really ruin your entire legacy. Kyle Brady, former Penn State star, NFL star as well. Thanks for your time, Kyle. Really appreciate your insights on what I know is a tough day for a lot of people with Penn State ties. All right. Take care, guys.